Stuck in traffic, that's the new reality for frustrated commuters forced onto the buses as the Epping to Chatswood train line closed until next year. And it's only going to get busier. Long queues for buses at Chatswood signal the start of a long seven months for the thousands who use the Epping to Chatswood train line. This is so annoying actually. I'm already late for work already. This was the first weekday peak since the link closed. We've also already laid about 52 kilometres of cable in the uh, Epping to Chatswood rail link uh, in preparation for Metro. So uh, we're getting on with that. Introducing Station Link. Despite paying Lee Lin Chin $70,000 for this ad, the message hasn't fully sunken in. Everyone seemed to go to Chatswood to get to Macquarie Park or Macquarie Uni. We really want to recommend that St Leonard's is the way to go. But overall, this morning's peak was a success with only minor delays. The big test this evening will be at stations like this one at Macquarie Park. And then again in two weeks' time when school holidays finish. I don't think the government should be patting itself on the back as yet. I know it's a big change. But bigger changes have been suggested for Sydney. After a new report claimed our population boom, while not increasing commute times, has increased congestion. There is scope for governments to seriously think about charging a modest fee for people to drive in the most congested places. One solution cashing in on the Chatswood Epping congestion, the Rocket Ferry. An eight-stop, 30-minute run from Hunters Hill to the city for $6. And Sean Berry is at Epping Station for us now. Sean, how are things moving tonight? Well, Mark, remarkably uh, smoothly, I have to say. A couple of uh, trains have just come in, sending people down here to catch those buses. They're mostly people getting off the buses tonight. They're coming in quite regularly with those holiday crowds. There's plenty of resources being poured into this. We've got people offering information, extra police resources, even people to say when it's safe for people to cross the road. But one of the problems that will really kick in as this gets busier in the next few weeks is what happens up on the main road. All of these extra buses will no doubt contribute to some significant congestion on the roads, Mark.